Ink Paper Doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hi dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become part of the family. My name is Z and I love to do tons of lifestyle, girly, pink, home, and fragrance related content. So if that's something you dolls are interested in, go ahead and smash the bell notification so you don't miss any of my new video drops. All of my social medias will be linked in the description below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this fragrance review. Okay dolls, so judging by the title, I'm sure you all saw, today we will be reviewing the Victoria's Secret Bombshell in Blue. If you dolls have been watching my videos since the beginning of this year, then you know I've been on the hunt for some spring scents. I personally am not a floral gal. I love gourmand, sweet, fruity, cake, pastry-like scents. So it's been incredibly hard for me to find floral scents for spring. I mean, I just don't really get into florals, but I have been trying my hardest to try out florals more and more. And there are a few florals that I feel like I love. I feel like I do like peony a lot because it's a soft floral. I feel like I definitely don't like rose. I feel like jasmine can sometimes be done right, but most times are way too strong for me. Um, lilies are a little strong for me. There's just a lot of floral scents that don't mix well with me um, but I do love peony I found that that's the flower I kind of lean towards the most because it is on the sweeter lighter side I also love fruity florals and I love sweet florals if they're done right personally I have not found that perfect spring scent for me that's done right in my for my taste so if you girls have any recommendations for fragrances that are floral that you think I might like keeping in mind that I am a sweet gourmand girl so something like a fruity floral or a sweet floral please comment that below I do write down all of the fragrance suggestions that you guys put in the comments and when I come across them or when I'm looking to pick up a new fragrance I do go ahead and shop you guys' list but today we are going to be talking about Victoria's Secret's Bombshell in Bloom you guys and I've had this fragrance actually for years but I recently took it out because I was like oh I'm getting kind of tired of the super super sweet scents I want to just try something different I love my sweet gourmand scents but I just really sometimes you just want to try something different you know so I started going through my old fragrances and I found my little beautiful girl bombshell in bloom and you guys I forgot how much I love this fragrance for spring um, this is just like one of the perfect more on the sexier side I would say but definitely the perfect sexy spring scent um, I don't know if I would call this an everyday scent I will definitely get into details once we do the cold sniff and on the skin I've had this for years I do believe that the packaging has changed since I first picked this up I believe now it's like a frosted pink bottle and it doesn't have the flower but the packaging you guys on this is so so pretty I don't have the box because you guys know I've had this for a while for years now but just looking at the bottle, you guys, it has this really beautiful uh, pink flower on it and it's so cute. The lid is completely crystal pink and then the body of the bottle is a striped pink and white. I believe when I first picked this up, the liquid inside was like a light pink. It's, it's still a light pink let me turn it sideways it's still a light champagne color but it's not as pink as it was when I first picked it up but again I've had this for years okay love so let's go ahead and look up the description of this fragrance so we can read what this fragrance is supposed to smell like what are we supposed to experience from it I'm going to spray it in the air so you guys can get a cold sniff and then I'll spray it on my skin and we'll do the skin test and I will give you guys my final ratings for this Okay guys, so I just pulled up the Bombshell in Bloom fragrance 
agent on the Victoria's Secret website slash app. Um, this is the new packaging. I'll pop up a photo on the screen because I don't think um, the camera will show it. But that is the new packaging for the Bombshell in Bloom fragrance and the product description. Okay, so the description says forever flirty, always sexy with crisp floral notes. It's a fresh take on our most loved Bombshell fragrance. So it says the fragrance type is floral. The notes are pink freesia, red apple, and water lily. Okay guys, so let's see what we get from the cold sniff and Vicky, why are you staring at me like that? Oh my God, Vicky is like death staring me right now. Pinky what? So let's go ahead and spray her in the air and see what we get. First of all, let me just say this is bringing back so many memories, like, this reminds me of when I was working at Victoria's Secret, like hard freaking core. And like everything I pretty much own was Victoria's Secret. I think at one point, the condo that I was living in at the time, my room, my bedroom walls were painted in the Victoria's Secret stripes, girl. Yes, I was a fan. I was fangirling hardcore. Definitely bringing back those memories. I have a lot of summer memories related to this fragrance. I'm sorry, I'm closing my eyes because I'm remembering. But I have a lot of summer memories created with this fragrance and they're good memories. So I'm so happy about that. But first of all, you guys, the first thing I smell when I spray this in the air is this burst of green apple. Like you smell the crisp apple so strongly. Um, the freesia, I can smell the freesia, but to me, the freesia isn't in the forefront. I'm smelling a really strong lily and a really strong crisp apple. I'm smelling this burst of crisp apple. Then I start to smell like a swirl of lily in there. And then I feel like on the come down, I'm smelling a bit of freesia. But for the most part, I'm getting this just bright burst of apple. To me, this is definitely kind of the spring scent that I would go for, a fruity floral. This is fun for me. I also feel like this is a great summer scent if you guys are trying to get into florals or if you're someone who absolutely love florals. Girl, this is a great floral summer scent and a floral spring scent. But of course, it's perfect for the spring. And for my fruity dolls, I feel like you really will get into this if you don't mind a bit of floral. That lily... That lily is kind of coming up to the level of the apple. I feel like the apple is kind of mellowing out into the lily and then the freesia on the back note. So it's definitely a florally scent. This is definitely not a fruity scent, but I feel like if you're a fruity girl, you might get along with this fragrance because there is, well, there is the ambulance in the background. This fragrance is definitely more on the sexier side, which was definitely a description note. So just take that into consideration. I would not wear this scent every day. I mean, you could, girl. If you're if you're feeling sexy every day, girl, feel sexy every day. But this is definitely giving me more like Victorian, bourgeois, um, Parisian. I'm just seeing like a poofy Victorian a Victorian dress with like cleavage and pearls on the neck like that's what I'm seeing running through a field of flowers I will post up or try to post up some some photos on the screen of what I'm seeing and what I'm capturing from the notes in this fragrance so you guys can get a vibe of what it kind of smells like but again definitely a sexier type of fragrance like I said if you're a fruity girl this is not a fruity scent this is a floral scent but I still feel like you fruity girls will like it because that green apple I don't even think they said green apple I think it just says crisp apple but it's definitely a tart green apple is so fresh and it's so potent if you guys have tried any of the bombshell Victoria's Secret fragrances in the past then you guys already know that bombshell is their top number one selling fragrance you also probably know that the potency in those fragrances girl girl is on 100 so this right here alone is very very strong this isn't making me feel like i want to sneeze but it is making the back of my throat itch a little bit at the moment could be that i'm allergic again i think i've mentioned this before someone said it 
I could be allergic to floral scents, but I am getting a little bit of itching in the back of my throat. But you guys, for me, this is so worth it as long as I don't break out in hives and have to use an EpiPen and go to the hospital. This is so <laughs> worth it for me because it smells so freaking good. This is definitely a more of a going out fragrance if you ask me, like if you have a spring date. Also, there is an element of a perfumey note. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. I'm not entirely sure of what that is, but I would say I would classify this fragrance as a fruity floral perfume. Perfumey, of course it's perfume, but more of a cologne perfumey type scent. Not musk, perfumey, fruity, florally. I love it. I don't know. It just makes me feel like a bad bad okay okay doll so let's go ahead and get into spraying it on the skin and seeing what we get from these notes whoa 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 you guys on my skin it smells a lot more fruity I'm actually getting more of a pear apple lemony note there's like a tiny hint of citrus could be orange could be lemon but there's a bit of citrus and I'm getting this strong pear note. Like, where's that coming from? But definitely, definitely a huge overwhelming scent of green apple, pear, and lemon. Mmm. I do smell the freesia more on my skin than I did in the air for sure. It's definitely a bit stronger, quite a bit stronger. And that lily is still right there with the apple balancing it all out. I feel like this is the perfect balance of fruit and floral. I feel like, yeah, like they're both hand in hand equal by each other. I feel like most time when you have a floral scent, the floral note, the predominant floral note, generally takes over the entire scent and it mellows all of the other notes out. That's just been my experience, which is one of the reasons why I really don't get along too much with florally scents because I feel like they're just so overpowering and overbearing. This scent actually is not like that. They have those fruity notes that balance out that floral perfectly you guys like oh mmm yeah I couldn't say that this was a strong floral like smelling it on my skin you guys I would call this like 50 50 floral and fruit spraying it in the air I would call it more floral than fruit um, it's a beautiful 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 fragrance it smells so good the potency on it though you guys is so incredibly incredibly high like it's a lot you know what i mean it's a very strong fragrance a little tiny bit of this will go a long way i don't imagine that you will have to continuously refresh this fragrance throughout the day i have picked this up recently and have been wearing it a lot more and i can tell you guys that this lasts on me probably in between i would say five to seven hours you could spray this on you go to work and then come home and right before you go out to dinner you could spray give yourself another spritz of this and you will be good all day girl like this is an all-day scent for me in terms of like longevity also dolls I wanted to note that as I mentioned at the beginning of this video I've had this fragrance for years like this is even the old packaging and it still smells exactly like when I bought it which is really really good like the formula in this is really good I don't know if I've mentioned this before I think I've had in previous videos but I've noticed that Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works which is the same company limited brands um, I've noticed the quality of their fragrances going down the scent not lasting as long the scent turning over into like this alcohol -y smell um, this does not smell like that their older scents lasted so much longer and this is just the proof of that like I've had this fragrance I think I worked at Victoria's Secret probably seven years ago seven eight years ago now and it still smells the exact same because this is the old formula so if you can get your hands on the old bottle the old formula those last so much longer than the new formulas do um, so I just did want to note that for you guys but yeah you guys loving this oh my god it's so beautiful I just smell 
I just feel like I smell like a hot girl, like a hot, hot girl. Like, you know how you can be like that cute, pretty girl, but then you can be like a bad bitch? I feel like this fragrance is a bad bitch. If that's your vibes, if you're a bad bitch, this is the bad bitch fragrance for the spring, you guys. Okay, dolls, so let's go ahead and rate this fragrance on a scale from 1 to 10. Um, I'm going to be rating the potency. I'm going to be rating the notes themselves. I'm, I'm going to be basing this off of the brand's description of the fragrance. We're going to rate the packaging. Obviously, we don't have the box, so I can't rate that for you guys. But I remember the old box, and it was cute, y'all. I'll try and see if I can pop up a photo of the old box. But the old box, if I can remember correctly, was really Really, really cute and then we're also gonna rate longevity and potency and price point of course now I think when I purchased this fragrance I believe it was around $45 um, I don't know how much it is now so let's go ahead and rate this um, price point wise this is a what I think this is a three ounce oh this is a 1.7 ounce you guys so I'm gonna look up the 1.7 ounce so I can give you guys the price point the 1.7 ounce is currently uh, $59.95 we're gonna go ahead and round that up to $60 when I originally purchased this fragrance it was around $45 so for me yes it's absolutely worth $45 if you could get your hands on this fragrance like the old brand for $45 girl get your hands on it because it is so good and it lasts so long um, is it worth $60 Considering the fact that Victoria's Secret kind of, their formulas kind of went down, the quality of their formula, I don't know that it's worth $60, but I would absolutely pay $50 for it. So if you girls get your rewards or if you get your $10 off a $50 purchase that's been going around for spring, I would use it on getting this fragrance and knock the price down to $50. That would be the perfect price point for me for this fragrance. Um, I absolutely love, love, love this fragrance. I would give the price point a seven and the price that I am basing it off of is the current price. I'm not going to judge the previous price that I purchased it for because you guys can't get it for that right now in the store so I'm gonna space it off of the current in-store price which is $60 I don't believe it's worth $60 only because the new fragrance because I've smelt the new fragrance in the store and I noticed that it did not last on my skin as long so next we're gonna get into potency as I mentioned before the potency on this is a very very extremely high um, all of the Bob shell fragrances have a very high potency level I would rate the potency on this a 10 out of 10 10. it is very 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 strong I would even go as far as to rate it a 12 out of 10 girl um, if you have a very sensitive nose and you are sensitive to floral scents or strong scents you might want to this might not be the scent for you or you might want to kind of water it down a little bit maybe I would probably pick up the fragrance mist instead of the perfume because the perfume is so potent and the fragrance mist is very strong too but it's just a little bit more on the watered down side so I would go with a fragrance mist instead but to rate the potency on this I'm gonna give it a 10 a 12 out of 10 you guys the potency on this is amazing packaging let's go with packaging I usually go right into packaging because you guys know packaging for me is everything when I purchase a perfume I'm purchasing an experience I'm not trying to just pur purchase a scent that is not what we're in the business of doing when I can read your company and your brand's description and you're telling me all types of things like running through a fields of flowers dangling birds twinkling around when I smell that fragrance I want to smell all of those visuals that you have planted in my mind so I'm looking for an experience not a scent you guys so packaging plays a strong role in the overall experience of a fragrance it also plays a strong role in whether or not a buyer wants to pick up your fragrance or not okay girls like pretty bottles men like nice looking bottles every body likes attractive looking aesthetics so your bottle needs to tell the story it needs to reflect the fragrance your bottle should always reflect the fragrance and tell the story the buyers first initial experience with your fragrance is the packaging that is 
why packaging is so important and Victoria's Secret knows that. They know it and they've nailed it and they nail it almost every single time. You have the flower there giving me bloom, flowers. You have the classic Victoria's Secret stripes, the classic shape of the bombshell bottle, the bombshell line. I love that they kept their regular line shape and packaging but they just kind of gave it a new touch, you know, a florally touch. This is definitely giving me bouquet. It's making me feel like I'm holding a, a bouquet of flowers and that's what you want in an experience. Um, love this. So to sum all of that up, I would rate the packaging a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. It's definitely bombshell. It has the classic bombshell packaging, but it has a twist on it with the big, beautiful pink flower. You guys know I love aesthetics. It's so beautiful and so cute. And I must say that the bombshell bottle is one of my favorite designs of theirs in their perfume models. So I absolutely love this. 10 out of 10 on the packaging for me. So lastly, dolls, let's go ahead and get into the fragrance notes and rating that. Um, I smelt every single note that was mentioned in the description. So I definitely smelt a strong crisp apple on that initial spray into the air. I will say on the initial spray into the air, I did not smell the freesia as strongly as I was expecting, considering it was a top note. I feel like I smelt the apple and the lily a little bit stronger than the freesia, but that was okay for me because I'm not a strong floral person. But if you're someone who's looking for a strong freesia note um, I would say you get that strong freesia note when you spray it on your skin once I sprayed it on my skin Wow I got apple I got like this zest zesty citrusy lemony scent I also got a strong pear note which wasn't mentioned at all but I did appreciate it because it made that apple a little bit more sweeter and less tart and then you get this burst of freesia mellowing into a lily with the apple it was very beautifully done it definitely told a story definitely was cohesive and seamless into the transitional notes that's another thing that is very important to me with notes you guys that they transition seamlessly sometimes you smell a fragrance and at one point it smells like cake and then the next point it smells like powder and you're like whoa how did we go from cake to powder I hate fragrances that do that. I love fragrances that seamlessly flow together. They intertwine with each other and then they mellow into this final note, which I feel it mellowed out into more of a a soft, sweet lily scent is what I'm getting on my skin right now. So I absolutely love this fragrance. I personally am not a floral person, but I am going to try to not rate it off of the fact that I'm not a floral person. It's really hard to do but considering I'm not a floral person I would rate this fragrance in my book a 9 out of 10 for me um, it's a great fruity floral they did the notes very very well it the description embodied you know exactly what I was smelling even with the packaging I feel like bombshell in bloom like I feel like very very sexy but at the same time floral and kind of angelic and soft in a way as well so very very beautifully done great job victoria's secret i knew that there was a reason why i kept this fragrance in particular because i got rid of a lot of my fragrances that i had in storage when i moved here for some reason i kept this one and i couldn't remember why but recently i picked it up and i was like that's why i kept it it smells so incredibly good i can't believe that i actually stopped wearing this for so long like it's crazy to me but currently right now this is definitely one of my top spring scents I'm still on the hunt for better more fruity florals so like I said if you guys have any suggestions please leave those in the comments below I would love to keep an eye out for some nice spring floral fruity sweet scents but that's it dolls. That was my review for the Victoria's Secret Bombshell in Bloom fragrance. I hope you loves enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you dolls in the next video. Bye. Bye dolls. Today's shout out goes to the cute queens down below. Thank you girlies so so much for supporting my channel and commenting. It really does inspire me and help my day and just keeps me pushing on. I love you guys and I can't wait to see you in the next video.